<laughs> Welcome back to Up North at Four. Joining us now, Carol Mason, Steve Chandler from the Land O'Lakes Fish and Game Club, which yeah, celebrating its 75th, 75th. anniversary this year. But I feel like we got to start with the, the basics, of mm -hmm. course. The Fish and Game Club. Carol, tell us a little bit about the organization itself. Okay, the organization, um, it's a club, mm -hmm. and um, but it's dedicated to conservation of the Northwoods, and our slogan for our 75th anniversary is loving the woods and the water, and taking care of the woods, water, mm -hmm. and lakes of the North, and wildlife of the Northwoods. Mm -hmm. So we do um, a lot of programs, we do a lot of volunteer work, and um, we just have a lot of fun. We do yeah. programs over the summer um, from May through October, and we bring in speakers and uh, people, experts in various areas of conservation. Yeah. And people come and listen to them. It's open to the public, not just members. And uh, we and also. Yeah, and they're free. And we have events and outings and field trips that are wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful that people can experience. So, And it, it's more of like an educational Absolutely. type of focus, right? Yep. Right. Yep. So we do have, uh, as part of that educational uh, piece that we have uh, not only the educational programs, uh, but we also provide scholarships and grants. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this year, uh, Sophia Simek from Northland Pines High School mm -hmm. uh, was the recipient of the high school scholarship, and we have grants as well for teachers, and we provide uh, some grants for libraries. Sophia, um, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. All right. Yes, Bravo nice job. job right? yeah. All right, Steve. So, you know, Nate and I bring lots of people on this show who are involved with nature and the Northwoods. And, you know, we, we desperately try to show off how lucky we are to live in this really cool environment. So what, what, does, what can people learn by going to this conservation fair? Well, the focus of the conservation fair was the concept of bringing people together. So we've invited, um, well, we invited a lot of people, not everyone could come, but different conservation organizations mm -hmm. so that they could come and we can connect with one another mm -hmm. and people can come and see all these good things that are going on, that people are doing. Communicating. With con <laughs> communicating, yes. with, but making connections between the conservation groups, but also making connections, people with the conservation groups. So mm -hmm. it's, it's like a big party and um, to learn things about what's going on, good things. Because mm -hmm. we hear so many negative things now and so these are good things that people are doing opportunities and that was the other thing we, we didn't mention we do a lot of volunteer work uh, road cleaning we maintain a, a cross-country ski trail um, with the Sylvania mm -hmm. we work with uh, the Forest Service every year we clean all the campsites there's 50 campsites in Sylvania. In Sylvania. Yep, yep in Sylvania we clean all the campsites and make sure they're ready for campers who are coming up in the wilderness area. Mm -hmm. And um, invasive work. And so we do a lot of great things. Practice Say. what you're preaching right. is what I'm hearing. That's yeah. right. And, That's and Steve, right. you mentioned to me before the show, you only got involved uh, with, the, with the club about two years ago. I'm just curious right. from your sake, because you'd been coming and going to Land Lakes. what eventually just drew you to joining and, and I guess brought you to wanting to be a part of this. Well, I uh, like to cross country ski mm -hmm. and I started helping Bob Turnquist in the grooming portion and it also attended some of the uh, lectures and the programs. Uh, mm -hmm. So they kind of drew me in and the activities that you get to do uh, was a fun activity and you know, it wasn't just the sit in the classroom type learning, it was actually getting out there, okay. uh, hands seeing on. hands on yeah, type yeah. things. Yeah. June 17th is not that far away. Here we are this weekend already, right? right. So right. what can people expect this weekend? Where do we start? Like, how do they, how do they, where do they go to sign up for this? So okay. it's at the uh, Snowflake Arena in Land Lakes, which is right behind the uh, Land Lakes City Building and the government building. Uh, there's going to be music by Brett and Fisk, Frisk uh, there. The Lions Club is going to be serving uh, brats and burgers. Oh, the Lions uh, Club. Yeah. yeah. And there's going to be some free tree sampling, uh, saplings being given out. Mm -hmm. um, places like the DNR will be there to answer questions on everything from fishing to ATV. Um, oh. There's also going to be the Forestry Service there answering questions. Yeah. Um, other independent and uh, nonprofit 
uh, areas will be yeah. there as well. Yeah. Trees for tomorrow and many Love others. Yeah. Uh, so Just having a big conversation with all right. And so people have questions yeah. or want to get right. involved in any of those organizations. It's a good chance to ask questions. Absolutely. Right. Well, best of luck with the fair this weekend. Yeah. And hey, 75 years in the books. 75 yeah. years. Here's we, to 75 we are the, the oldest conservation organization in the state, and we are we are being recognized by the state. We're wow. receiving an award. Representative I, Swearingen I, I, is coming up so cool. to present us with awards. Congratulations. So thank well you very much. Well done. And thank, thank you guys for joining yep. us. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back on our part. Yes, I'll admit well thank you. that I'm a fool.